so we have this problem for standard 8 okay where it has been given 120 bags of half liter milk can be filled by a machine within 3 minutes actually the data is 120 bags and 3 minutes this half a liter milk bag this half a liter is given for confusing you because this will not be used or in this solving the problem but this half a liter it can be 1 liter it can be 1.5 liter but it will not affect the problem as such because here it has been given that 120 bags okay will take 3 minutes to fill okay that is the data but this half a liter it is irrelevant or just given to confuse okay but in some problem maybe it may be useful but here there is no relevance because here directly it has been told find the time to fill such 1800 bags such means same half liter bags so since the data is 120 bags and 3 minutes and we have to find the time to fill 1800 bags so this half liter word okay is just to confuse or some additional information which is irrelevant to solve the problem so here let us check whether this is a direct proportion or inverse proportion so here it has been given 120 bags of half liter milk can be filled by a machine in three minutes as such if the number of bag increases the time to fill them will also increase so since one quantity is increasing so the other quantity is also increasing so this is a direct proportion so here if we say that number of bags is n and the time taken is t so we can say that n is directly proportional to t here some student may get confused whether i should write n directly proportional to t or t directly proportional to n if you solve by both the ways finally you will get the same answer okay so don't worry that whether i should write n directly proportional to t or t directly proportional to n we will solve by both method and we will see what is the final answer we are getting so here we have written n is directly proportional to t so we can write this as n equal to k t where k is the constant of proportion so we can say n divided by t is equal to k so the data which has been given is 120 bags in 3 minutes so we can say 120 divided by 3 so we'll get the value of k so we have k equal to 40 so here we got k is equal to 40 now the next part of the problem find the time to fill such 1800 bags okay so now we need to find time for such 1800 bags so we have the equation of proportion as n upon t is equal to k and k value we got it as 40 so now for our problem it has been given 1800 bags so we'll put 1800 bags and t the time taken for filling those bags is unknown or we need to find so we can write this as 1800 divided by 40 is equal to t so when we divide this or solve this we will get as 45 so t is equal to 45 and unit is minutes so we can say the time taken to fill 1800 bags of half liter milk will take 45 minutes okay and now the same problem we will solve by writing this like t directly proportional to n so we can say t equal to k n so here we can say t upon n is equal to k so t the value of t is 3 and n is 120 here since the bigger quantity is at the bottom and smaller quantity is at the top so instead of dividing we will keep it as it is okay if you solve also it's fine but we can keep it as it is also okay so value of k we have 3 upon 120 so we have the equation of proportion in this case as t upon n is equal to k and the value of k is 3 upon 
120. So in the problem it has been given that find the time taken to fill 1800 bags. So n is equal to 1800. So t upon 1800 is equal to 3 upon 120. So t is equal to 3 into 1800 divided by 120. If we solve this, we will have t is equal to 45 minutes. So we got the same answer. So don't worry when you write the direct proportion, your answer will come as same. But why we do this? Because dividing is easier when the bigger number is on the top and smaller number is a denominator or the bottom. Okay. So here when we solve this, it is easier to solve this and take it forward. Or if you are doing this way also, that's fine. But no need to solve it because then it will come in decimal. So keep it as it is and you can continue and because you will get the same answer.